Hello everybody and welcome back to Mass Effect 3 Legendary Edition where today we've just finished chatting with everybody and that means we have so many new quests. <laughs> we do, well what, what it means is we just finished a main quest and so now we have 80,000 new side quests to do. I don't really feel like doing a fetch quest though. Uh huh, uh -huh. so that's we're gonna just keep helping out. Uh, so maybe we should go do that one. Hang on, let me figure this out. Most of these, that's a fetch quest. That we'll pick up as we go along. That we'll pick up as we go along. Oh no, I mean we might already have these. I just need to turn them in. Do I need to? Let's go to the. Let's actually go to the citadel. I don't have any fish, right? When do I get to buy my jellyfish? I swear it's on the citadel. Did I not? Where are my jellyfish? I want them. I swear it was on the shop near where I got, um... What do you call it? My armor. My blood armor. My blood dragon armor. Shave content. Wow, uh, let's go. Uh, how do I get out? Oh, I wasn't that low. I'm used to my fuel being higher. I feel like in Mass Effect 2 it was higher. Oh, we are gonna go to the Citadel. We're not doing the DLC yet. Aria Talok, too. We could do that DLC. Oh my goodness gracious. Did we go? Did we not go to the... There's like a dance place here. I thought we went to that. Did we not go to that? Oh my gosh, we didn't go to that. You're clear a to club. Dock, Normandy. Do you need ground There's like transport? a club here. I need to get to the hospital. Yes, Commander. Uh, but since this is also after a main mission of sorts, I am going to go and talk to my loved ones. Oh my gosh, look at it! <laughs> Alright, don't mind me. Coming by again, Shepard? I'm flattered. I'm just gonna ask him a question because I want to hear his voice, so just give me a second. <laughs> it's freeing to find no requirements placed on me. No responsibilities. No fears. It is a good end to a life. I really can't overstate how much, like, just having his presence on the ship was really nice. Just even as, like, a friend when I played Male Shepherd, like he is the calm within the storm and having him in this situation would be incredibly wonderful for like me and Shepard, you know? Like I don't know, I feel like my Shepherd would like benefit from having somebody with his demeanor on the ship that she trusts and that she loves, you know? Nothing wrong with that. Like nothing wrong with being like, hey, I want a hug right now. She doesn't get that. She doesn't get that because he's not there, you know? Or I don't know. It's just it's hard. It's hard. I, I know how things turn out. And uh, this romance is very bittersweet, but I wouldn't... I don't know. I, part of me wouldn't change it, honestly. Like, apparently I love going for those bittersweet romances. They just they just hit different, you know? <laughs> I wish the best for you, Thane. I think of us often, Sia. But we always knew it would come to an end. Live well in the time you have. Perhaps we will see each other again. I just wish I could run and talk to him, just like, you know, periodically throughout the day, like I, or like after a mission, just go. Um. You know, hear his voice. I wish I could do that. Commander Shepard, good to see you, Doctor Michelle. It's been a long Didn't time. Didn't we already talk to her? You've come a long way from that small clinic down in the wards. Because of you, I don't know where I'd be if you hadn't dealt with Fist and his thugs. Now I met physician in the Presidium Clinic. You gave me this chance. I assume you're here about Major Alenko. How is Caden doing? Very well. With the neural redundancies of his L2 implants, his concussion is nearly undetectable now. I still want to keep him under observation, but he should be fit for duty soon. I feel like she's... Because I think we actually could have talked to her before this, and she's like, I don't know. You know? Or like he's doing... Not great, but he'll be all right, type thing. Um, but now, right now, it's like, oh, he should be fine. But I also feel like she's always just kind of 
Maybe this isn't true at all, but she's creeping after all the guys in my life. <laughs> Not creeping. She was crushing on him, I guess. She was crushing on Garrus. I think she still is crushing on Garrus, actually. I think when we get Tally, um, Garrus gets a gift from Dr. Michelle. And, like, it's like Turian chocolate or something. And he's like, oh, it was really nice of her, you know? And Tally's just like, you're an idiot. <laughs> she obviously has a crush on you. This war has left a lot of injured people homeless. How's your center handling the extra load? We're getting more refugees every day. Throughout the Citadel, triaging and finding open beds is our biggest challenge. How are your medical supplies holding up? Things are getting tight throughout the whole medical network. Citadel reserves run deep, but they can't hold up forever. With a center of this size, you must have a lot of direct reports. We've got 12 full-time doctors and over 50 support staff. It can be overwhelming, quite different from my days in the wards. Keep up the good work, Doctor. You too, Commander. Do your best. Ah, uh, here we go. We're at this little farm. We killed a few enemy scouts, and it's, it's quiet. The shuttle gets called away for support, so I'm there for the night. The humans get me dinner, show me around. One of them, this freckled farm girl, maybe 15. She wants to hear all about what it's like to be a commando. You were probably the most exciting thing ever to land at her farm. Yeah. Well, she's saying she wants to be a pilot, and I say that life on a ship is grimy. And she asks if I'd like to use their shower. Going by my records, you'd been on active duty for more than three weeks. Probably no real chance to get clean in all that time. <laughs> Pretty much, yeah. I don't know if I've mentioned it, but slight spoilers again, because I really can't help myself too much. I, I'm kind of, I've been kind of trying to keep it on the down low, but can't help myself too much. But um, this one, I am pretty sure it's been confirmed that the sister, that the woman he, she is talking about, that the Asari is talking about, is um, Joker's little sister. So, the idea of the the pilot thing, she wants to do like her brother does. And it's heartbreaking. It's heartbreaking what ends up happening. And I don't know. It's r that's actually one of the rougher ones, honestly, for me. I overheard you talking. Grissom Academy is gone. But I found this while I was there. What is this? Yes, these are tailored to human physiology. But with a few alterations, they should work for the Asari as well. This is exactly what I needed. Thank you. Watching this, not this, but like watching the PTSD story play out in slow motion is like extra horrifying because I know how it ends, you know? Ah, oh, so much loss. I swear there was one more person here that I had something for. Is this Kate now? Oh, he's up, up and at him. Up and at him, my guy. Hey, Shepard. If you came to spring me, you're late. I'm getting out soon. Good to hear. Maybe you already saw the vid, but I accepted the What? Specter Caden. I didn't see it. That's a big. Where deal. am I? What did I miss? Only the second human specter. <laughs> it's humbling. Odina thinks they may have a pretty big ceremony, even with the war. And he says a celebration will give folks something hopeful to latch on. It's true. But oh my gosh, can we just can we just for a moment realize that like Caden has like enough like competence and like outstanding like merit to be able to be a Spectre. Like honestly I think Garrus would make a better Spectre probably, but that's I am very biased. Um but Caden's no slouch and he's had to step it up since Shepard's been away. So yeah. I don't know, I'm just really happy for him. And it's just cool, I think people, a lot of people maybe um, don't give Caden and Ashley the fair shake that they deserve for their skills. Um, and like I said, that's the Garrus thing from the Shadow Broker file will always kind of haunt me that uh, Garrus could have been much more potentially, like it, he may be holding himself back slightly because he sees himself as like, either my partner or like I don't know like work that being around me has made it so he hasn't been able to like be live up to his potential essentially which is sort of sad but I also feel like I helped him live up to some potential I don't know maybe Shepard would have just looked at that and cracked it in half and said you're stupid <laughs> you don't know what you're talking about 
You ready to take on that responsibility? You set the bar pretty high, but I'll do my best. It's not like it's hindered me at all. It's strange. On Mars, I should have died. The promotion from Anderson, Spectre status. These are terrible days. But I've been lucky. Can't think of a more deserving candidate. That means a lot. I'm happy. I want to serve. I thought you might want to join the Normandy. Yeah. I have thought about that. I just need to get out of here first, though. Take care of some things. I've been trying to locate my old spec op squads. My students from Biotics Division. Any luck? No. Probably went underground, but they'll turn up. If they were easy to find, they wouldn't be doing their jobs. Well, let me know when you're out. Take care, Spectre Lenko. Stay safe, Commander. I went with the lower option because I did not want to sound at all flirty because I do not at all want to encourage this to happen again. I'm happy for him. I think he's honestly a great soldier and a great guy. Needles, are vital. We need these biotic upgrades to fight the Reapers. I think I already have his thing. Okay, I need surgery, but when can I get back to the front? You're not. What? You have extensive nerve damage. Once we remove the leg, we can't install a prosthetic for at least five weeks. I told my squad I'd fly back next week. I'm sorry, but that's impossible. I really love her like tattooing. It's like a it's like a tattooing type thing that they do. And like the what she's got on her like I think it helps that she's purple too. Like the purple is really beautiful. And like the silvery white like lines on her hair, but I think the ones like looking like a diadem across her forehead are extra nice. Oh, hospitals suck. I don't like them. I swear. No, there was. Yeah. Oh, uh, here's my frontier. This is a fetch quest. That is not. We could do that. Oh, stop. Why isn't it not? Sort by... I want the newest on top. Okay. Yes. It changes it sometimes. I don't appreciate that. So the N7 thing is... That's one of the newer ones. Fetch quest. Fetch quest. The alien metagel formula. I swear I just... Didn't I just do that? No, that was the... Oh, that was the thing. Okay, I remember. Yes, yes, yes. Prototype component... No. No. Mm, that's one of those things I'll just pick up in a quest. Okay, let's do Barlavans. Oh, they're in the Krogan DMZ. Dang it. That's fine. I go get these fetch questy ones. I just don't want to do them right now. I want to go beat some people up. I actually know what we need to do. What am I doing? We need to... Further explore this dang nab place and get all the little conversations. Yeah, you I already talked to. She had the meta gel thing, I thought. Welcome, Commander Shepard. Purgatory Bar. Did we not go to Purgatory? We did. Oh my gosh, we didn't go to Purgatory. Sounds like a bunch of garrisons. Did they fix it? Oh my gosh, I wonder if they fixed it for the Legendary Edition. I was gonna point and laugh. Nope, wait. There's still some down there. Yep. Okay, so I was going to point and laugh, and I'm still gonna point and laugh here, but in the original Mass Effect 3 Legendary Edition, they had all the like levels of Purgatory were full of stationary 
models like this. But not only that, at least these ones look colored. In the original, at least in the version I had on the Xbox 360, the purgatory partygoers up on the balcony type things were white models. Like, just, uh, they looked like uh, you see in, like, development videos where they, like, have, like, the prototype models and they're just, like, off-white, like, the whole thing. That's what they looked, that's what they were. They were just, like, prototype models everywhere. Just off-white mannequins everywhere. <laughs> And it was wild! At least here right now, these ones have like a little tiny bit of movement programmed into them and they're colored. And these ones are at least shadowy. We'll see how the inside of Purgatory is. I'm actually really excited for this. I know people are complaining. We're doing what we can with what we've got here, but let me finish. Our power grid can only handle so much power before it shuts down, and we can't use the backups. No, the new regs apply to the whole Citadel. Management knows this is important for morale, but we can't go over budget. Look, I'm not touching the backups. Get me a better power grid, I'll give you a bigger light show. Yeah. Oh boy, let's go. Purgatory, here we come. No, no, no. I'm telling you. Ah, I'm here we go. Before we started off across that street, it was like, come and get me, death. You piece of shit. But you're not getting anyone else. Exactly. You're not getting anyone else. I don't think I can talk to them yet, but they have evidence for me. For later. Hey! Ready to get this party started? Hey! Hey! <laughs> I feel kind of bad for both of them. Like I get it. You want to have a guys' night. Like you gotta. You guys have been living all together in a ship for weeks. You know you kind of want some space, but you only really. Apparently, the Citadel only has one bar, which is ridiculous. Um. Hang on. Let me see, let me stare. Wow, they animated them. Okay, these ones. All of these. All of these people where my head is pointing. All of those people. All of them up there. They were motionless mannequins in white. It was hilarious. And now, this was actually one of the biggest things I thought they should upgrade in the next one. They've finally painted them, <laughs> given them color, and a little bit of movie animation, but it's still so weird. Like, nobody just stands in place like that. <laughs> I don't know. But it was so weird coming in here, being like, there's mannequins everywhere! This feels like a conspiracy theory, where like, more people are dead than we think, and we're one of the only ones left, and they put mannequins here to keep us appeased, and make us think things are okay. I think... Oh, that's all right, I want, I don't know what's actually area yet. I want... Oh, James, hey. That's right, this is where the other half of my crew hey, is. Hey, Commander. Nice to see you down here in the dirt with us, Oh, yeah, you know. Do you think I don't like getting dirty? What the hell? Come like on. Like how... I didn't mean anything by it. Look how buff I am. Uh-huh. What did you mean, then? See those Marines over there? None of them officers. Just soldiers fighting the war. Yeah? They've been buying me drinks all night. You know why? Same reason they got all quiet and serious when you walked in. They did not look quiet and serious when I looked over. You don't seem intimidated by me in the least. In fact, you could use a little more deference. <laughs> sure, but I've fought with you. I've seen you in action. Now, don't get me wrong, you're good. Probably one of the best. Probably? <laughs> Probably. You fill out a uniform like nobody I can. am very buff, thank you. Say, thank you. But I know you're human, just like me. But not I work now. hard on these muscles. Nope. <laughs> Hell, I still remember the day they made you the first human specter. I watched it on the vids, just like all of them. But to them, you're still larger than life. Uh, like, it makes sense, but yeah. I've seen a hell of a lot, but I'm still just a soldier. I'm still one of them. Sure, but they don't know you. They just know what they've been told. Listen, you want them to see you're one of us, right? Maybe. Yeah, maybe. Then buy them around. Uh... 
what did I do last time? It seems a bit forward, and on a, I don't know, for me, I like to fall back on sort of formality as like a buffer. So, for me, personally, I don't know, I would probably wouldn't be able to do this. And I feel like my shepherd probably wouldn't want to do this necessarily, but she understands it would be a morale thing. So that's why I'm going to go ahead and do it, is that it's a morale thing, even though I feel like it would be kind of, this shepherd, my shepherd, would be like awkward about it, I think. And I think it gets a little weird, but I'm not sure. I like the way you think, Lieutenant. Compadres! Hey! The commander would like you to have a drink. The commander, yeah, it's... On her. I remember. So I remember us. this now. Who's like us? Damn few. And they're all dead. It's an honor meeting you, commander. Thanks, but we're all in this together. Every one of us has a part to play. True enough. Cheers. And I had to get all speechy Cheers. there at the end. Not bad. Lord. Yeah, I was still a bit I was speechy. You know that word. Thanks for the warning. Thanks for the drink. I don't have all the money in the world. I'm trying to buy armor. Oh. The troops need something to bring back their fight. Oh, these guys. Remember the stories of the first regiment on Castellus? Outnumbered, knowing they would die. But they fought for the Empire. That's the spirit we need if we're going to hold power. You know, I think there's a mod somewhere, and I should get it, that um like does a bit more variability on the gender because it has always bothered me since Mass Effect 1 that like it's everything is male except for human and Asari who's monogendered. I don't know. Like those soldiers like at least one of them would probably be a woman. On the, on Palavin everybody's trained to fight from like a very young age. Like they don't discriminate and they don't differentiate between like women and men's like responsibilities. They all have a military responsibility. Like a military militaristic responsibility. This lady, I remember, I remember now laughing my buns off at this lady. I was like, is she supposed to be serving drinks? Like, why is she going ham behind the bar? It's like, everyone's like, listen, we just want a drink, and this lady's dancing in a line. <laughs> this guy's like, I just need competent co-workers, and this woman is making my job a lot harder. <laughs> Oh boy. Usually, I don't know about usually, but um, sometimes under certain, cir certain circumstances. That just actually be for one cutscene. Joker and Edie are right there, so I was expecting to see them. Do you guys talk? No? Okay. How could I be so foolish as to not come to purgatory? Dang it, there's conversations and things to be had here. Alright, let's not talk. talk to Ari. I can't talk. So you admit you and your thugs are here illegally. Yeah, good luck. Yes, and it only took C-Sec three weeks to figure it out. I don't care who you are. You're required to go through processing like all other refugees. Come with me. I don't think yeah, so. Yeah, good luck with that. Shirk, get me the Asari counselor. She's got new assistants. Greetings, Aria. Is there something you need? I'm being asked to submit to immigration processing. Of course you are. Done. What else can I do for you? Nothing. Thank you. My pleasure. I think we're done. That's here. the Asari counselor. Like, who's in, in charge show, of all the Asari <laughs> decisions. I guess there's one rule on the Citadel. <laughs> I guess so. I hate this place. So sickeningly uptight. Then why are you here? Cerberus stole Omega from me. The elusive man is now squarely at the top of my ship list. She's so pissed. You will pay for every second I've spent in this bureaucratic hellhole. How did Cerberus defeat you? Deceit, distraction, and a big fucking army. They lured me away from Omega and ambushed me. I escaped, but Cerberus had already laid siege. By the time I could launch an assault, they were too entrenched. At least you escaped to fight another day. And that day is coming. I'll take Omega back, but I'll get to that. You're here because I have a proposition. 
I'm listening. The way I see it, if you don't defeat the Reapers, we're all dead. Won't matter where I'm sitting. It's in my interest to help. It's true. What are you offering, Arya? On Omega, I kept the Blood Pack, Blue Suns, and Eclipse in check. Now they're running amok. Nobody wants that. Unite them under my rule, and you'll have a powerful and ruthless force for your war. I've laid the groundwork with all three groups. I just need you to close the deals. I also just, I guess she wants, I was like, why can't she do it? She could, but it's going to be more uh, effective for her to have somebody as powerful as me looking like I'm doing her bidding, which is like frustrating, but I mean, she's not wrong. I do need the help. But also those three groups aren't designed for like all out warfare. I think you can have them sent out as more of like a guerrilla force though. Give a criminal a gun, he'll shoot you in the back. They already have guns, Shepard. <laughs> I'll make sure they point them at the reason. She's like, you idiot. I'm trying to help you. Why don't you think it over? Meet with Narl, my agent who's dealing with the blood pack. The Blue Sun's leader is incognito here on the Citadel. He'll be expecting you. And I already have a deal with Jonas Sedaris, the Eclipse leader. You just have to get your friend, Commander Bailey, to let her out of jail. Yeah, that's not gonna happen. <laughs> you obviously don't know Bailey. Spoilers. Very well. Bailey respects you. Lean on him. I think a united force of professional mercs is worth it. Don't you? It's always a pleasure, Shepard. Let me know if you want to talk. I am pretty sure uh, I do not go through with that because the Jonas Adarius is a psychopath. Look who's here. Hi. So what's on your mind, Shepard? What's new with you? That's supposed to be funny. <laughs> Let's see. I've lost Omega. I got C-Sec eyes all over me, and I'm holed up in this poor excuse for a nightclub. Can't even get Novarian rum here. In other words, I'm in hell. She, like, her design is so good. Like, it looks really, really good. How do you plan on taking Omega A very ruthless-looking Asari. I think I'm going to employ violence. <laughs> I'm gonna slap Omega. Right out of the elusive man's greedy little hands. What's your angle on gaining control of the blood pack? Narl will explain it. If we're going to work together, Shepard, you need to trust me. What's the At point of me even way. having these options? How do we get the blue suns on our side? Their leader, Darner Vosk, is a twisted little criminal. I expected his demands to be unreasonable, but it turns out he's the biggest pushover of them all. Talk to him. I'll let you be the judge. Call me if you need to. How am I supposed to talk Bailey into letting Jonas Sedaris out of prison? I've already leaned on the council. Bailey is in direct defiance of their order. So talk to him. One boy scout to another, uh -huh. chain of command and all that crap. Uh -huh. Take him to dinner, talk dirty to him, whatever we <laughs> We'll talk later. I'm sure. Um, shoot, what was I thinking? Um. Oh, what was it? Not about Jonas Sedaris necessarily. Um, the counselor thing. Let's go back to that. Holy cow, how Arya Talok has the woman who, or the person, I guess, who is in charge of all the galactic decisions concerning Asari just like doing errands for her. I'm sure, uh, Le not Liara, um, Arya doesn't like abuse that because that's a surefire way to lose your privileges but like she's she answered instantly and helped her immediately and has enough pull on the entire like, well and why is the asari counselor who's supposed to be this like super big peacemaker like like what was their story like how did, did you, do you have blackmail on her like you know are you guys like old pals does she owe you her life or something i assume it's some sort of blackmail it's troubling that your world political leader <laughs> is like in the back pocket of Arya Talok. Don't you say something? No, I just remember coming over here and making fun of you, I'm pretty sure. It's so weird to come back to these places and remember like, what was it, seven years ago at this point? Like, very odd, very odd. And like, I don't remember things until I like come here and I see them 
and I like walk out and I'm like oh my gosh I remember like somewhat vaguely like feeling or thinking some this particular thing or whatever like it's just it's, it's weird oh man it's very weird but very interesting it's very cool I don't I, I like it it's nostalgia I guess I don't know still did not do a very good job with the fake sky but here we are um, anyway, let's go ahead and call this one here. It's a, probably a little bit short, but we have finally... Let me look at this. Finally gone to Purgatory. I can't believe I skipped Purgatory. Welcome, Commander Shepard. The hospital, the Citadel Embassy is... Yeah, we will finish... Oh, in the commons. Let's go to the commons. To I'm gonna just head there now before I forget. I do want to go here and go shopping a bit. And also, there's little... Little conversations and stuff to be had as we walk around, and I want to try to get all those. So, it's like I, I feel like I remember saying this I, as I say, as I said, like a minute ago, where I'm like, I feel like I have re vague recollections of things from the last time I played this seven years ago. But I feel like I have vague recollections of saying that I basically have two ships to walk around now after each main mission, because <laughs> I have to walk around my own ship and talk to people there. And then I have to walk around the entire Citadel <laughs> and talk to people there and overhear things and cry a little. So, anyway, thank you all so much for joining me. I appreciate it. Uh, really quick, I want to say thank you to my patrons, to all my patrons, but to especially Risa Galito, my sapling tier patron. Thank you so much for your support. And an extra special shout out to Christopher, my tree tier patron. Thank you so, so much for your support. I really do appreciate it a lot. And you're the super bestest. Thank you all so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed, and I hope to see you in the next one.